You know that echo you hear when you're on your mobile phone? Why does that mess why does that mess with why does that mess with our heads so much? I got it. Anthony here for D News, and one of the most annoying things in the world to me is when I'm on my phone or I'm on Skype and I can hear that echo of my own voice. It just gets hard for me to talk and it throws me off, which makes sense to a certain extent, but it's weird how it feels sort of oddly paralyzing. Like, I can't even think when it's happening. There's actually a lot of study on this sort of thing, which is called delayed auditory feedback in a rare display of science naming something plainly. Here's the deal. Our brains are constantly monitoring everything we're doing. So they're listening for speech errors, right? They wanna make sure that sound is coming out the way we expect it to. And as you're speaking, that echo comes back and your brain is hearing your voice saying words that you're not supposed to be saying. So it stops and it tries to correct. And then you start up again and it hears more wrong words. If you were inside an MRI when this was happening, you would see high activity in your superior temporal cortex, which is the part of the brain that controls audio perception, and also your right prefrontal cortex, which is the planning and decision-making bit. Basically, your brain is working in overdrive to fix this weird delay that isn't even coming from you. So you gotta stop and process. Now this knowledge has been used for evil. Late last year, two Japanese researchers released the Speech Jammer. A little device that can start repeating someone's speech back to them on a delay to get them to shut up. Now it's supposed to alert public speakers to when they're getting too loud or they've gone on over time or when someone's dominating a conversation. If one person talks too long, whoops, there's their voice coming back to them, shutting them down. They actually won an Ig Nobel Prize for their devious work last year, but delayed auditory feedback can be used for good too. It can actually induce fluent speech in some people with stutters, slow speech, or stretched vowels. It somehow, over time, stops the stutterer from hearing their own errors by tricking their brain into thinking the first voice they're hearing isn't their own. Kinda nice to know that I'm not the only one who gets paralyzed by this, but on the other hand, I also would like to think that my brain would be a little smarter about figuring out that that echo isn't me. Does delayed auditory feedback stop you in your tracks? Do you use it in speech therapy? Let me know down below and subscribe for more D News.